Let's talk about tracking my Z06. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tech's Garage. Today we're gonna go over everything that I've done as far as all the service that's needed to be done, all the mods I've done, the, my track experience after each mod and service, as well as uh, what I'm gonna be doing in the future. So let's jump into those. So guys, a bit about my Corvette. This is a 2008 Z06. I purchased it in April with 46,000 miles on it. My buddy actually got one of these cars, pretty similar, if not exactly the same. I decided to get one as well, uh, so we could do videos together. And I actually ended up liking it so much, I decided to start modding it and start doing some track days with it. As I mentioned, this is a 2008 Z06, all stock minus the different wheels. These are Astoria wheels by TWS, and they were wrapped in brand new Michelin Pilot Sport 4S with 275, 35, 18 in the front, and 235, 30, 19 in the rear. So before I decided to start tracking this, I did take the car in for a PPI, a post-purchase inspection, to make sure everything was ready for the track. And what we decided to do for this was do a brake fluid flush. We upgraded the fluid to a module RBF 600 brake fluid is a high performance high temp brake fluid i installed the baller attack exhaust from there the service guys did see the rack and pinion uh wasn't in good shape so it needed to be replaced along with some tie rod ends in the sway bar end links i had a uh, alignment front and rear and then we replaced all of the fluid engine oil the steering fluid as well as the clutch fluid and apparently doing the clutch fluid on these is terrible so we installed the remote bleeder for that now where i track is road america it's in wisconsin elkhart, elkhart or plymouth wisconsin maybe it's in both towns um, it's a long track and a fast track based on all the other tracks i've done and i haven't done many i've only done uh, autobahn down in joliet illinois uh, and a couple other karting tracks that cars have gone on but from there my first track specs come down to I tracked 130 miles, uh, my top speed was 142.7 miles an hour and my fastest lap was 2 minutes and 57 seconds. What I found out about the car is it was the first time I ever tracked a manual car, uh, which is pretty scary and terrifying. I mean, it is different, right? I'm not experienced, it's just what I wanted to do. And at about 135 miles an hour it is pretty unstable down the back straight of road america road america's back straight goes up a hill and then it plateaus that up rarely gets your momentum or your your weight reduced and then when you settle back down it feels very unsturdy so that's really my experience with uh the first track day so from then i went back to the drawing boards decided to do some mods uh, upgrade some things and get some service done. Just to let you know, the $6,400 Sonic Toolbox giveaway ends in a couple days, ends October 31st. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. Every comment between August 1st and October 31st gets you one entry to win the $6,400 Toolbox. Now, if you want more entries, be sure to check out gastax.com and purchase some merch. Here's a shirt I have, 0.0. I don't run, I prefer to drive. There's a couple other shirts I have, hoodies, and I also have a buddy, Extelgic, that has a bunch of his merch on there. Every dollar you spend gets you three entries to win the Sonic Toolbox. So I took it back to MPC Performance, uh, a local shop by me, link down below. And guys, all the products I'm mentioning in this video, there's a link down below if you want to do them to your car. From there, I installed the APR Performance a GTC 500 wing. That baby back there, I love it. It's a carbon fiber wing. It makes this car look completely different and aggressive. A lot of people say I'm stupid, some say it's cool, some say it will slow me down, some say it will speed me up. I don't care what any of you think, I know what I'm experiencing and it definitely helps. From there, I installed a different steering wheel. This has nothing to do with track, although it does have some benefits. The stock steering wheel is from a Chevy Cobalt 
and this one um, looks better but it has more grip if you will more hand grip so I like it I also fixed the head issue the LS7s have a valve drop issue if you want to look at that Google LS7 valve drop so I got that fixed I didn't upgrade anything when uh, they were doing that I just uh, made sure they made sure that problem wouldn't happen then I did hmm get new pads i did the hawk hps 5.0 pads we did uh, a brake fluid flush obviously and then when they were doing all of that the brake or the power steering pump actually exploded or something it was leaking a lot so they decided to replace the power steering pump so with all of that service done i decided to head back to a track day so again, same track, the whole video, Road America. So this track day, I did 105 miles tracked. My top speed was 149.9, and my fastest lap was two minutes and 48 seconds. So my fastest, uh, my fastest speed went up seven miles an hour, and then my fastest lap uh, dropped down nine seconds. So I thought that was pretty good. At 135 miles an hour and above, it felt 10 times more stable with this big wing on. I highly recommend it if you are tracking your C6. What I did experience is the baller attack scooted back because clearly I'm a fast driver and I'm awesome and fell off the exhaust uh, hangers, the rubber exhaust hangers. It stayed attached to the car. It was just resting on the axle. So that's something I did notice. So I did just push that back on and it stayed back on. And on the third session, you get four sessions at Road America, four 25, 30 minute sessions. Uh, on the third session on the last lap, or second to last lap, my brake pedal went all the way to the ground and I lost my brakes, pretty terrifying. Uh, it was fine, I didn't crash, but I decided to call it a day because I felt like I was pushing a lot and the brakes weren't keeping up. How do you know your brakes are done on your track car? <laughs> so, after that track day, uh, I went back to the shop, did some more mods, uh, and did some more servicing. The brakes, the front brakes needed, uh, the front calipers needed a complete rebuild, so those were rebuilt. I got new rotors, and my new rotors I went with were the DBA T3 4000 series slotted rotors. I went back with the HPS 5.0 pads, replaced the brake lines with stainless steel brake lines, and then as far as services, uh, we did the brake fluid flush and then the power steering pump was leaking again. So they actually replaced, replaced the power steering pump under warranty because that was leaking on the new one. That's all I did for preparing for my third track session. Now my third track session, here is what happened. I tracked 110 miles. My top speed was 151.4 and my fastest lap was 244. So my top speed went up two miles an hour. My fastest lap uh, was faster by four seconds. At about 150 miles an hour, now that I was consistently hitting 150 plus miles an hour in the back straight, it started feeling uh, more unstable again, like before I had this wing on there. Uh, the exhaust fell off the hangers again. So obviously this was my third track day. So I am improving. I am doing mods to the car. I can't say it's one or the other. I think it's a combination of everything. So uh, it is nice to see that. But then I had a fourth track session planned. So I did a bunch more mods and obviously more services. So first let's talk about all the things that needed to be serviced. I replaced the exhaust hangers. The rubber was worn out, so I just went with new uh, exhaust hangers. Those were pretty cheap. The rack and pinion now was starting to leak, so that was replaced under warranty, as well as the third power steering pump. Two of them replaced under warranty, and then we have upgraded to a better power steering pump. And at the third session, I actually pushed a bit too much and I slid off the track nothing happened well something did happen it threw a bunch of engine codes and whatever but basically it was an aggressive stall out so i just had to reset the computer and that was all fine but with sliding off the track the rear back wheel uh went out of alignment 
So obviously the car needed an alignment. One thing I forgot to mention is every time the car needed an alignment because there was something wrong with the power steering pump or the rack and pinion. So I got alignment every time. So this one, I did a front and rear alignment. And now let's talk about all the mods. So first off, the brakes, the Hawk 5.0s. The brake pads come new at 16.5 millimeters. Uh, after the one track day of 110 miles, they were down to four millimeters. So you can only get one session, at least I could only get one session at Road America on these Hawk 5.0s. So after talking to the shop, they recommended, after talking to Hawk, that we upgrade the brake pads to the Hawk DCC 60s in the front and the DCT 30s in the back. So I did that. I also installed an Anderson composite vented carbon fiber hood. This car runs super hot when you're tracking. Even the transmission tunnel is so hot. It gets so hot if you leave just regular driving. If you leave your sunglasses in the center glove box there, they will melt and disform. It happened to my buddy that I mentioned earlier. As well as if you leave your cell phone in there, your cell phone will get so hot it will turn off. So because of that, I need more heat coming out the hood. And then I also installed a thermal shield in the exhaust tunnel here. I also installed front and rear tow hooks in case I slide off the track and the car doesn't start based on me sliding off the track and the car barely wanting to start again. Uh, I adjusted the pitch of the wing so it was a less aggressive pitch when I first installed it. I did see some guys with like rarely 45 degree pitches but I just it's an adjustable wing so I just went one uh, step up to aggression. I installed the front splitter which should help with the front downforce as well as more uh, air to the brakes how I've installed it and then I got some new forged wheels with some uh, Hoosier slicks Hoosier R7 uh, slicks. So the front wheels on the track tires are now 295s and the rears are 345s. Unfortunately, that last track day was rained out. Well, Road America lets you do track in the rain. Um, I'm not competing. I don't need to practice in the rain and I don't feel like crashing my car in the rain. Uh, and yeah, I'd rather just not go through all the servicing and the cost of all of that if I'm not pushing uh, and racing how I want to race. So unfortunately I didn't get to do that. But with all the mods, this is what I expect um, my experience to be next season. So I do believe with the more aggressive uh, pitch on the rear wing, I will be able to break 155 miles an hour on the back straight because it will be more stable as well as the front splitter it should bring the car down as well as the front vented hood it should bring the car down plant it more get more traction i know more traction sometimes means less speed but the only reason i need more traction is because i let off the throttle because it's so unstable so i'll be able to push the throttle more there will be less oversteering or sliding due to the bigger front tires now and they're slick as well as uh the front splitter there should be no more brake issues due to heat. There will always be brake loss, but the vented hood, the front splitter, the vents uh, now directed better at the front brakes, I think it should be better. As well as the new brake pads are designed more specifically for track, so they have a better bite which means I won't be able, I won't have to stop braking earlier. I could brake later and uh, get better results. So I don't know what's gonna happen, but I do think I'll have a faster time because there'll be more rubber on the ground because the tires are bigger and they are slicks. Although that may slow me down, but I'm not really looking to uh, increase my top speed as much as increase my turning. So that more rubber will be able to increase my turning speed, which in turn will make me faster on the track. So my overall goal on my next track session is as follows. I hope to track 150 miles, uh, top speed of 155, so uh, four miles an hour faster. And then I want to get six seconds faster per lap and getting my top speed down to 238. So unfortunately, Road America is now closed for the season. I am more upset than anyone about that, but there's nothing I can do about the weather. But guys, be sure you like, subscribe, enter yourself into Win the Sonic Toolbox. And if you want to see me track next year, be sure to hit that notification bell. 
because I think I'm gonna do a couple more mods on the car before I track it again. I wanna put a roll cage in and I wanna put some race seats in, but who knows what I get into. So thanks a lot for tuning in. Hopefully you find some of that information uh, useful and interesting. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. But guys, until next time, I'll see you then.